Advocates for a right to die law say they expect Brittany Maynard's death to lead to legisla legislative action next year. The 29-year-old woman with brain cancer ended her life this weekend by swallowing lethal drugs under Oregon's doctor-assisted suicide law. She publicized her story, hoping to expand laws nationwide. The executive director of the Death with Dignity National Center expects momentum from Maynard's story to spur legislators on both coasts to introduce bills. Oregon is one of five states where assisted suicide is legal. A Maynard's story that's drawing national attention is also starting a conversation locally about physician-assisted suicide. KZI 9 News reporter Stacey Kafka has more on what local residents are saying about the Death with Dignity Act and what kind of patients qualify for this lethal prescription. Residents I spoke with in Eugene today say they think it's important for people to have the choice to either live or die if they're terminally ill. Since 1997, more than 700 Oregonians have chosen to end their lives under the Death with Dignity Act. Lane County Public Health says it's not a simple process for someone to participate in the act. They must go to two doctors multiple times requesting the medication, submit a written request, and have two witnesses at the doctor's office with them. Eugene residents say they think any terminally ill patient shouldn't have to suffer through pain, which is why they support the act. I feel everyone has a right to they want to live their life and they want to die the way they want to die, and that's their, that's their business. And no one can tell you any otherwise, right? The government or anyone else. You know, if you're a rational person and this is a choice you need to make, you know, I think terminal disease is a perfectly rational thing to not want to go through. Under the Death with Dignity Act, doctors are not allowed to administer the medication to patients. They must do it themselves. Last year, Oregon doctors wrote 122 prescriptions for this lethal medication under this act, and 71 deaths were reported from the medication. In Eugene, Stacey Kafka, KEZI 9 News.